We're back from shopping and I wanted to give you a quick little haul from Brandy Melville. So this is the first shirt that I got. It's just a white baseball tee with little blue outlines. I got this cropped long sleeve and then I got this tank top that says Montreal. I'm gonna go take a shower and get ready to go out for dinner and I'm gonna do a little get ready with me. So see you in one second. Hello, I'm done showering. Changed into my new shirt because it's comfy and it's cute. Now I'm gonna do a quick get ready with me. I did my basic skincare and now we're gonna get started with makeup. I'm starting with my Maybelline Master Prime Primer. Now I'm gonna take my big Kuo Beauty brush. I use the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. So I blended it out like decently, but now I'm gonna take my beauty blender, damp it a little bit, try to blend it out. Now we're moving on to bronzer and I'm using my e.l.f. bronzing brush, my Hoola bronzer by Benefit, and then I go lightly. Next, we're going to use blush and I use the Rare Beauty. Here we go. Just a little bit because it is very pigmented. And I use this Kiwo Beauty brush. And I just go tap, tap, tap. Now we're doing concealer and I use the Makeup Forever HD. Go up a little bit under the eyes. I'll do a little bit on the eye and then cover up my chin acne. I take my Kiwo Beauty concealer little tapered brush and I just tap, tap, tap. I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and just blend it a little bit more. Now I'm gonna take my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and I'm gonna spray my face. While my setting spray dries off, I'm gonna grab my eyebrow products. So I use the Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Wiz pencil and I use the NYX Brow Glue. I forgot to mention that I add a little bit of bronzer in my forehead as well, so we're just gonna go 
quickly add some. I'm just gonna slightly pull it in. And now we're gonna take our brow glue and remove the excess because it's a lot. I just fluff them up first so they will get my natural fluff. See what I'm working with and then start kind of styling them. Our last step is mascara, but I'm gonna do my hair first because the heat from it can like clump up my eyelashes. I'm wearing this black skin stoop dress from Shein and then this white little cardigan that buttons up, but I don't usually button it, also from Shein. I did my hair and I finished up my makeup and I wanted to show you guys what I use and what I do for my mascara. I use two different mascaras. I use the L'Oreal Paris Telescopic for lengthening, and then I use the uh, Maybelline Falsies for uh, volumizing. And this is what I end up getting, my lip combo. I have the NYX Matte Lip Liner, uh, Suede Matte Lip Liner in the color Soft Spoken. And then on top, I'm gonna put on my Clarins Lip Gloss in Cherry. All right, we're all ready. I did my lip combo, I got my hair all done, I've got my dress on with my white cardigan on, and my black heels. So we're gonna go to dinner now. We're back in the hotel room and I'm gonna give you my honest review about our trip to La Honde. Once we got through security and we got inside, the first roller coaster we went on was called The Monsters. The first one you see when you walk in, it's a big one, it's like wooden and it's crazy. And we went there, it was a long wait. While we were waiting, I was looking at other people who were going by. I was kind of, you know, mentally preparing myself for what's to come and what my body would go through because I was having crazy anxiety. I don't like roller coasters, I'm afraid of heights and in general I'm scared of falling off and flying and dying, okay? I'm not like flying in an airplane, you know what I mean? Like flying off. We waited around and once we got to the front, Liam wanted to go to the very front. So we went to the very front section, the door opens, we go inside our seats, 
we get our strap in, which was literally just our legs strapping in, okay, nothing else at the top. And there's a little bar that you can hold on to. So in general, the entire ride was crazy. Definitely not everything I mentally prepared myself for. Ugh. Liam was having fun. He was looking at me. I was just, <laughs> you know, scared. But I did it. It was kind of quick. Not really felt like a long time in the moment and I really wanted to get over with but once it was over we decided to stop by get a drink so we took a little break I had to recoup myself because once I got out of the ride I started crying we decided to keep walking and then we saw this ride called the devil and I was like wait that's kind of fun I would I would be down to do that like just hang upside down you're secure like your whole body is secure down in your seat and you're just hanging around upside down like i've done that before at a like at a fair it wasn't that bad of a wait the ride itself also wasn't that bad it was kind of fun liam wasn't having fun this time because he was too big his arms were too big and they were stuck and losing circulation through the whole time but the view was great we decided to keep walking and there were other rides along the way but it was getting late by the time we got there and by the time we like got two rides done you know like half the day went by and we want to do other stuff later tonight so we decided to go home relax a little bit here because our legs are in pain from walking and standing